a peaceful protest against racism outside the North Battleford Courthouse in August. Earlier that month, Colton Bushy and a group of friends pulled into a farm in Bigger, Saskatchewan. That's when the land's owner, Gerald Stanley, allegedly shot Bushy. Chris Murphy is the lawyer representing Bushy's family. He says one month after the incident happened, he learned the vehicle Bushy was sitting in when he was shot and killed left police custody during the investigation. Murphy was told the vehicle had been sitting in a towing lot. When he went to investigate, he was told by the lot's employees he wasn't allowed to view the vehicle because he is not the registered owner. I attended up at the Astro towing lot and confirmed through conversations with the employees that the car was in fact there, that it was still covered in blood on the inside of the um, vehicle and there had been some damage to the vehicle. On September 13th, Murphy went back to the lot. This time, employees told him the vehicle had been written off and had been taken to a salvage lot, exposed to elements that could destroy evidence before the preliminary hearing had even started. It was sitting outside, just sitting outside of the elements and asked for towing and that there were no sort of precautions taken to preserve or to make sure that nobody tampered with the vehicle, went into it, etc. Now, Murphy says he still doesn't know what happened to the car, and the RCMP won't tell him if the vehicle is in their hands. I do not know where that car is right now, whether it's been re-seized by the RCMP or whether it's in somebody's garage having bought it for scrap. Murphy is worried that the missing car could have an effect on the upcoming trial. Because evidence has been destroyed, Stanley's lawyer could apply to have the second-degree murder charged against him stayed. Murphy said Bushy's family has been left in the dark. He was the one that informed them about the situation. It's concerning for the family just to have the anxiety of not knowing where this car is. I think it's unfair for the Crown and the police not to simply tell us we've got the car back so they can put my clients minds at ease. RCMP say they will not release any information since the case is before the courts. A preliminary hearing to determine whether there is sufficient evidence to proceed to trial is set for January. Tamara Pimentel, APTN National News, Saskatoon.